Hey everyone. So I'm going to show you a little demo of this new lab, lab four. So we've got, you've got three files associated with this lab. Uh, you'll get the template file that's for you to kind of complete and fill in. You'll get the test file, which is actually what you're going to be running. That's going to run some tests. Basically your template file, once filled in, it's, it's kind of, you can think of it like a library. It has a bunch of functions, which you're going to implement. And then this test file is going to call those functions. Um, so the first thing you need to do is just rename your uh, template to be just lab4.asm. Uh, and then you can open up Mars. So pro tip here, if you put Mars in the same folder as your files, then uh, that may save you some headache at some point. Okay, so here's Mars. And so I can open and now see, since it's in the same folder, you can see these files right away, right there. Uh, so let me open this test. All right. Okay, so this is the test file that has a bunch of tests, uh, which it's going to run. So we just will, and we can see at the bottom that it says include this lab four. So this is including this library of functions that we're going to implement so that it can run them. All right, so now to, in order to, uh, we're gonna use something, so this is gonna be a graphical assignment. In order to see what we're doing, we can use the bitmap display tool. <clears throat> All right, and so what we wanna do here is first off, remember to set the base address. Uh, so that's just saying kind of where we're uh, storing our display here or our image or bitmap, if you wanna think of it that way. Um, and so in the instructions, it'll say to do 128 by 128. Uh, this, this is kind of a sensible setting um, in this tutorial, I'm going to do a trick, which you probably will want to do yourself also. And I'm going to set this to four, four, and then five, 12, five, 12. So it's still 128 by 128 display. It's just using four pixels to display each pixel, which is going to make it a little bit easier to see. You might notice it's a little rectangular. I'm not sure what's with that exactly, but it, it just seems to be, uh, some, uh, uh, I don't know if called bug, but uh, something going on with uh, some strange behavior with MIPS, uh, with uh, Mars, sorry. All right, so, and now let me show you what I, uh, and then, so so you set this up, so so four four five twelve five twelve or 1, 1, 1, 28, 1, 28. Uh, make sure the base stress is right, and then say connect to MIPS. Once you've done that, uh, so you can assemble your test and run it. It's, now, so if I look at the output here, I'm gonna see that it's giving me, it's gonna say, oh, I'm failing all of these tests. See, it says I should return this, but I'm really returning this. I should return this, but I'm really returning this. That's expected. Uh, so that's because we haven't actually filled in the template. Uh, so let me just uh, show you what the temp, what it's gonna look like when you're done. Uh, Let's just get rid of this lab four and I'll replace that with the actual one. Oops. All right, and let me run that. Okay, and again, I'm running the test file, not the lab four file. Look at that. We've got some display. Nice crosshair. Uh, so vertical line, a horizontal line. And then this crosshair, which means you know vertical and a horizontal line, centered around this point where uh, the center is clear, transparent. Okay, so that is the tutorial. Uh, good luck on, on your work. And let me know if you have any questions.